Welcome to Height, and thank you for joining us on our journey to take the project management out of product building. Today, you're going to get the tools and tips you need in order to get started in Height. We'll cover everything from our autonomous features to all the project management essentials like teams, projects, filtering, sectioning, custom attributes, and more. Let's jump right into it. First up, our teams. A centralized hub for you and your teammates to organize tasks and manage workflows. To get going, head to the sidebar and next to Teams, click the menu here. You can browse existing teams here and join them, but for now, let's create a new team with a name like Engineering and hit Next. Here are a few steps on how you can set up your team, but we'll cover that shortly. Now you have your new team. This team tab is your team's homepage. It's a perfect space for sharing team information or processes. It's essentially a living wiki for everyone to be able to reference. At the top, you'll see default views of your team's projects and tasks. We'll dive into what views are later, but for now, you'll see these views are pinned by default. However, you can customize these pins to anything your team needs for quick access, like key documents or projects and custom views. Next, on the Members tab, you can manage team members. To add someone, just click Add Member and select them from the dropdown. Once added, they'll automatically see the team in their sidebar. Lastly, in the Settings tab, you can manage team status collections, custom team attributes, and team task forms. This is where you can really tailor your team to fit your needs. Create custom attributes like channel or customer to track important info, or create custom statuses relevant to your team like in review or can't reproduce. Let's go ahead and create a custom multi-select team attribute together. We'll name it customer and add the following options. For any key details your team needs to track, custom attributes help organize and record that information in a structured way. Here in the top right corner of your team, you'll see the auto button. When open, this shows the available autonomous workflows. This is where you can find and configure Height to handle all the tedious parts of project management, from deduplicating tasks to closing stale tasks. Let's take a closer look at one of the most powerful team features, autofill attributes. This workflow auto updates your team's tasks and projects automatically. For example, let's set it up to tag any new tasks that are bug reports as a bug. To do so, I'm going to find the attribute tag and choose the option bug. Then I'll write a short description for height to use, such as add the tag bug if the task is definitely a bug, a broken feature, or something not behaving as it should. Now, whenever someone files a task in our team that's a bug, Height will automatically tag it as such. We can do the same thing with the custom attribute customer we created earlier. I'm going to write this description for Height. Add the customer if they specifically requested a feature improvement or reported a bug in this task from a support ticket or email. This will now automatically tag relevant customers whenever they request a feature or report a bug. We are going to see these in action shortly, but you can set up this workflow for as many attributes as you'd like, and you'll find your team's list of tasks have never been so neatly categorized. Now that your list of tasks have been organized by custom attributes, let's talk about how you can use all of this super-powered organization to really stay on top of things. Views are real-time filtered lists of tasks and projects, helping you and your team plan and understand your work. They're effectively a safe search of tasks, where in the filter bar, you tell Height which task you're looking for, and Height effortlessly collects them in one simple view. We have four default views pinned to your team's navigation bar to help you get started. Let's take a look at the team projects view. This view filters by team equals current and type equals project, showing all your team's projects as soon as they're created or a task type is changed to project. Four attributes are visible by default, status, assignee, percent completed, and due date. These help you to track how much progress has been made and how close you are to the deadline. You can customize this view, delete it, or create new ones to suit your team's needs. Add or remove filters by editing the filter bar here, like adding priority equals high or medium. And you can also add attributes by clicking the plus button here or the spreadsheet button and then add attribute. Here you can customize further by sectioning your view by any attribute like priority, and even switch between different visualizations such as spreadsheet, Kanban, calendar, and Gantt. Now you get a more clear custom view of your projects and their priorities. 
After making these changes, the unsaved banner will prompt you to either save this view with the new changes you made or create a new one by clicking Save As. Now let's head back to the team page. On the navigation bar, let's look at the new button. This button gives you quick access to create a new task, document, project, view, or list within the team. You'll also find this menu in the bottom left corner of the app. Tasks are where you can track individual work items similar to issues and tickets. Documents are space for writing or ideating. Projects manage big initiatives like a new feature or product launch. And views are what we just covered, which are real-time filtered lists of tasks and projects, whereas lists are static groupings of tasks and projects. Let's create a project, for example, for an upcoming product launch. Let's click Project and give it a name. On your project page, you'll see custom attributes at the top, your description, and a chat activity area. Chat is where you can discuss your project with your teammates, ask questions, make decisions, all in context. To kick things off, let's add some subtasks. Click on the subtask button and make your first one. To add another, just hit enter. Also, you can nest subtask infinitely by hitting enter and tab like you would a text editor. You may even see autofill attributes working here to tag some subtasks as bugs or the appropriate customer. Let's get into full screen project view to be more comfortable. With your project now set up, open the auto button to see the available workflows for this project. Let's check out live product doc and project checkup. With live product doc on, let's drop in our current specs for this project. As your project progresses, Hi will automatically update the project's description with any changes, decisions, or new questions. No more manual note taking or digging through chats to update your specs. To check if a section is being live updated, hover over the headline here. You can add in more sections to be live updated as such. These are the sections supported for live product doc. Next, let's check out Project Checkup, which drafts updates that automatically capture potential blockers, unresolved questions, and follow-ups. These checkups take into account work happening across subtasks and keep the whole team in sync on what needs to be done next. Let's set it up. In the configuration modal, pick a day and time for the recurring checkups, like Tuesdays at 12 p.m. In the review and sent by field, choose who should review and send the checkup. Once Height drafts the checkup, the reviewer will get a notification to review, edit if needed, and send to the team. Let's wrap things up by checking out Height's sidebar. First up is your inbox, where all your notifications populate. These notifications come from chat, so when someone responds to your question, assigns something to you, or app mentions you by name, you'll get a notification here. Next, you can quickly see everything you're assigned to take care of in Assigned to Me, and every task you've created in Created by Me. Your sidebar is also where you can find your favorites, shortcuts to projects, views, or anything that you want quick access to. And just beneath this is your teams, where you can see the teams that you belong to. Hopefully this is enough to get you going. Starting with a new tool can be a lot, but we're here to help. You can find our help center in the app. It has in-depth articles about everything covered in this video, including integrations such as GitHub and Figma and just so much more. We're always happy to help. So if you have any questions, bug reports or feedback, feel free to chat with us in the app as well. Thanks for joining us on this journey and welcome again to Hype.